In this year's primary school leaving examination, or PSLE, of the more than 38,000 students who sat for it, over 98% have made the cut for secondary school as comparable to cohorts from the last few years. But what's different this time is that this year's students will be the first to undergo full subject-based banding next year when it rolls out across all secondary schools. Under this more diversified approach to learning, students eligible for secondary school will be allocated into three groups based on their scores. But unlike the express and normal streams, their classes will have a mix of students with different strengths and interests. It gives them greater flexibility to study subjects at different levels and adjust these levels as they progress. Students who don't qualify for secondary school can retake the PSLE next year. They can also apply to schools offering more hands-on or experience-based learning. For Alia Kairina from Sinan Primary School, this was her second PSLE attempt. This time she studied harder and sought advice from friends. Her form teacher also played a major role in guiding her. Now that her efforts have paid off, she too has advice to impart. I feel aesthetic because I've passed this year. My grades are quite w good. <laughs> I'm very proud of my Malay. Very, it's quite, it's quite a good score. To everyone out there, if you are not happy with your score, doesn't matter. You still got a lot ahead of you. Over at Bedok Green Primary School, head prefect Matthew Loy had to juggle studies and other school commitments in the lead up to the national exam. He also had to learn how to prioritize to get results. Basically, I don't have a lot of time to do my homework. But in the end, I still know that my homework is the most important priority. So sometimes I even will sleep late over it. So I, I make sure I get that done before I participate in other less important activities. Rivervale Primary School Head Prefect Pinakshina is eager to start the next chapter of her education journey. She hopes to keep playing netball and hone her leadership skills in secondary school. I'm actually pretty excited. It will be a new experience. Like we have been in prim primary school for six years and next year juniors again. Amidst all the challenges, I think it would be really fun making new friends and continuing and seeing what our strengths and weaknesses are. For this fresh batch of primary school graduates, secondary school will officially begin on 4th January next year.